Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and I'm going to share my not so much junk journals with you. I'm going to start with this one that I use uh, Prima Marketing Paper. I started with the Love Story Paper for the cover. And I wanted to keep these very simple so that if you want to add your own embellishments and accessories to your journal, that there's plenty of room to personalize them and make them your own so for this one this is the smaller the the thinner of the three I used a seam binding that is slightly coffee stained and crinkle the seam binding just to hold it closed which it, it, you really don't need it but I figure after you start adding things to it you might want to have a basic closure for it and again, this is the Prima Paper Love Story. I reinforced the spine with a fabric ribbon and then did a little weaving of ribbon and this crochet trim for the cover. And then this is what the back looks like. Very basic. I didn't embellish anything on the front, just, you know, embellishing the spine. And this is what the insides look like. There is tea stained and coffee stained paper. I didn't want it to be exclusively vintage, so I didn't use tea stained paper or coffee stained paper for every page. There is some scrapbook paper and vellum mixed in, but these are all new papers. And I didn't put a lot of pockets. I wanted to leave plenty of room for journaling. So it's like I said, a very basic journal but it does have a vintage feel I did put a pocket here and you have a little envelope here and just a folded coffee stain paper here for journaling so that tucks in right there then you do have this envelope here there's a few little things in the envelope doily and a vintage envelope here's another pocket with butterfly a double tag that opens up with room for journaling it's stamped on the front and back Again, this is very basic and simple so that there is plenty of room to add your own embellishments, stamping, whatever the case may be to make it yours. This little stamp there. And that is it. very basic and I went I did I took it a little further with these other two journals oh and I forgot to mention I did so actually stitch using my sewing machine the spine of this one the others the other two have a pamphlet stitch so so I'm going to start with this one next what I did I do have the pamphlet stitch here. This is just a ribbon closure again that you can use or not use. I kept the cover plain and I did make a hidden paper clip for this one. As you can see here. So that just clips on the cover and you can use that inside or leave it as a cover embellishment, however you choose. This one has quite a few folded pieces. This is just Fold it over the edge. You can journal on the other side. This opens up so that you have a bigger space to design on. Or you could use all of the space just for journaling. Again, I wanted this to have more of these to have more of a planner girl style, not really specifically a vintage style. So I use quite a few things that are more modern vellum 
it's nice polka dot paper and this is a tuck spot so I'll just show you the, you can tuck photo or a journaling card or whatever you like in there and it works on both sides it's a tuck spot on both sides it's also as you can see a tab that you can label if you choose then this is just a shorter page it has this little card then this opens up for journaling space again another cut apart card and I think this one is all fashion and makeup related you have a doily this is a little envelope and it folds over both of the pages just some lined paper it's a blank tag use a little washi to help reinforce the spine here's another tag tab with a tuck spot available and then this side is using the tuck spot with a small tag more washi here's the coffee stain paper this is a decorative vellum here is your center with the eyelash paper and I left the strings you can add beads or whatever you choose or you can just trim those off if you don't want them plenty of room for journaling stamping adding your own elements and then this just repeats I did add a little tuck spot here it says I came I saw I contoured so you can tuck all the way down this is a small little decorative tab paper tab and again more lined pages for journaling other piece of the doily another piece of this is a 32 pound very heavy weight uh, paper it's a short decorative page then here's a pocket I didn't make a lot of pockets because again I wanted you to be able to have room to do your own thing with just this tag and then this is just a vellum envelope in here slides back there another piece of vellum this is just another uh, double tag and there is a small pocket here and that's a gold vellum pocket and it just sticks right in there stamped with beauty and brains the tab says classy another tuck spot all of these tabs have space for tucking underneath the tab and then this is a tipped in page with washi and I punched the corners just to make it more decorative and pretty and then here is the last page with a little pocket area here and just a very basic tag tucked in and then this is the back and you can see the gold foil of the paper the tabs this is what it looks like so that's that one And last, the, this journal, I made this double tag. It is also a paper clip. I mean, this is just a sheer purple ribbon closure. And it's got lots of stickles and glitter and a shimmer. The shoe is made with several layers of cardstock, and the top layer is a shimmer cardstock. So it's pretty sturdy. You can use this tag for anything else. And it also has the hidden paper clip. Then this one is also pamphlet stitch binding. I also use a lace to reinforce the spine area. We have lots of paper doilies on the cover of this one. And I really wanted to use this image from this paper collection. I've had it for a while. I think this one is called Fashionista but you still have room on the inside cover for journaling here's your paper doily again here's another folded card 
for journaling and it has the gold foil shoes again in keeping with the fashion theme and you've got this watercolor style paper here's another this is actually a scrapbook paper then we have a little pocket here corner pocket this is a, a copper or rose gold clip here and this is stamped love and then this is a stitched die cut of a tag with purple ribbon again this is just tea or coffee stained paper Here's another one of the graphics that I really like from the paper collection. And you got some lined paper. Some, I guess this is kind of like a parchment style paper. It's not actually parchment paper though. It's kind of a grayish color, as you can see. You got more lined paper, vellum, more of the fashionista papers. And this, again, folds out you can glue the top and bottom and turn it into a pocket if you like or just use it for extra space for journaling or adding your own elements you've got these two tags just plain tags purple one and the white one more of the heavyweight paper 32 pound paper coffee stain paper with the doily more heavyweight paper and again I left the longer strings um, I got this idea from Liz for a day actually to just leave the strings longer then if you want to add some embellishments to them you can or you can just trim them then it repeats with the coffee or tea stain paper the heavyweight paper I did a little decorative tag here um, and then again this page folds out this is another fold out booklet here and again you can glue top and bottom if you want to turn that into a pocket you have a vellum envelope here another vellum page lined paper and everything pretty much repeats from the other side then you have this pocket here I kind of played around with making a pocket <laughs> so you have a blank tag that you can decorate however you choose and that's on the tea stain paper and then I did a little die cut embellishment on the corner of this one then the last page is the watercolor purple paper and the doily and again you have the doilies on the cover inside and out so that's it for that one So these are all standard size traveler's notebook journals. They will be listed in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you're interested in seeing more of these types of projects, please leave a comment below and let me know. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.